have made so many versions of this video, it's just pathetic. I think I've spent six hours making different versions of this video. Sometimes I even render the whole thing. I've, up, I've started uploading three different versions of it and then canceled the upload. No, that's not right. Nope, I just didn't like the way that was said. So let's just try again. The United States has surpassed the rest of the world when it comes to cases of the coronavirus. We can't say it wasn't expected. We have been ill-prepared for this sort of thing. It's been known we've been ill-prepared for this sort of thing. Even Bill Gates talked about it a few years ago in a TED Talks. You know, um... But we've, we've got to put on a happy face. We've got to try to try to be happy with what we have, even if it's not very much. There's a certain amount of choice in being happy, because there are some people who, who have had almost everything, who have had everything they ever wanted and are still unhappy. There are a lot of unhappy, very, very rich people out there. But on the other side of the coin, there are people who have almost nothing, who are very, very poor, who are very happy. A lot of it's in the attitude. Now, not everyone is able to do this. There are people who have clinical depression. There are people that just aren't wired to be able to do it. But for the majority of people, they can choose to be happy. Granted, it's really hard right now for a lot of people, especially those who have actually been diagnosed with the coronavirus. In the New York hospitals, oh my God, they're, they're so overrun. I recently saw a video showing just how bad it is. They don't have enough equipment or supplies. It's just tragic. You know, sometimes I'm just glad for some of the little things, like how a lot of celebrities, including late-night talk show hosts, are getting on camera in their homes, showing that they're doing the quarantine thing too, trying to, in any way they can, make light of the situation we're in, showing people that they're not alone, making people feel not as isolated. It's helpful. Maybe it seems superficial, but it's helpful. It's certainly more helpful than celebrities getting together and singing John Lennon's Imagine. I don't know what that was supposed to do. Let's hope for a, let's, let's uh, cope for a communist country kind of, kind of message. No borders and uh, no country and, uh, just, I don't know, it's just, that was just kind of a weird move to me, but, you know, on television, there's, there's not very much on right now that shows the way that we're currently having to live. There's shows like TMZ but that's kind of a pop culture humor. And I mean, at least that's something. But just about everything that's on, you know, has been made in the past and is still looking at things as if we do, we're not living under this pandemic. Even commercials aren't showing us living in this pandemic. Um, when nothing seems to represent how we're currently living, it's, it's kind of depressing. It's, it's kind of, it, it, it makes the way that we used to live into a fantasy. That's, that's depressing. You know, living a normal life shouldn't be a fantasy, but that's what it is right now. And 
It's what makes me not really want to watch much television. You know, you either have this fantasy or you have a news media that glamorizes tragedy. You know, makes people worry and be worried and scared the whole time. That's mainstream media for you, right? As far as news. My brother is showing some symptoms that are questionable when it comes to, you know, whether or not they might be symptoms of COVID-19. He's got some really bad abdominal pain. He's got a lot of bloating, abdomen bloating, and he has a complete loss of appetite. We've gotten boost and ensure for him so he can at least get some nutrients in, but we're really worried about him. My mom and I are really worried about him, and we're worried that, you know, if he if he does have COVID-19, we're it's almost assured that we're going to get it too. You know, living in the same household, how's that gonna work? So I'm mostly worried about my mother. Although my brother my brother's health hasn't been so great in general, and I wonder whether he could survive it either, but my mom is, is 73. So. So I'm, I'm worried. I'm worried about, uh, there's a number of people that I know in Second Life who have been diagnosed with COVID-19. One of them has COPD. I'm really worried. You know, all of this has made me re-examine my spirituality. I, I generally consider myself a pantheist. I think that the universe itself is a giant living thing and we're merely a part of it. Kind of similar to how you can, if you look inside the human body, you take you, you slice open the human body and look at it under a microscope where we have a bunch of living things within us and I sort of look at our relationship with the universe in a similar manner. You know, also, and, and some of the reason why we end up seeing things that just seem too miraculous to, to be just a coincidence is because everything's sort of, the universe is sort of like a fractal, where you can back up and look at the whole thing and see it, see it for as this one thing but if no matter how much you zoom in you still see the same patterns of of what the main image looks like right i kind of look at things like that but you know this pandemic has made me wonder you know well maybe do some of the bible based religions have a point i usually say no because the Bible, so many things that don't make any sense. Especially the whole uh, Jesus uh, story with the human sacrifice thing. It just it just doesn't add up. You know, oh, uh, Jesus died for your sins. Yeah, uh, I stubbed my toe. Uh, I stubbed my toe for your mortgage. It, it, just, it just doesn't make any sense. I don't see how a human sacrifice is supposed to... It just doesn't make any sense. And it also puts humans as the center of the universe. And I, I guess I just don't believe in that. You know? People just... Desperate to look at humans as the most important thing in the universe. And it's just weird. But, uh... Yeah, we just gotta... Keep our chin up. Try to hope for the best. Hope we can make it through this. Hope that the United States doesn't... Hope that this doesn't kill the United States. Hope this doesn't kill our friends. Hope this doesn't kill our families. Hope this doesn't kill us. Just, ha just have some hope. Anyway, I guess I don't know what more to say. I hope I've covered everything that I've wanted to cover because I've made so many versions of this video. I wish you the best, safe paths, blessed be, 
and thanks for watching.